The 1911 platform has withstood the test of time, and relevance, of course. Browning somehow made its design timeless, and I don't know if he had the intention of doing so, but it's already clear that 1911 has established its place in modern firearms. Fast forward to 2024, and the 1911 market is still progressing. I mean, gun builders have been able to put better sights, triggers, and materials on this particular platform. In fact, they even evolved into 2011s, or those 1911s with double-stack capacity. So overall, the 1911 just got better. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Ted from Line 45. In this episode, I am going to talk about my top five picks for the best 1911 pistols available today. But mind you, there's a good chance that some of my entries here aren't those you are expecting. Still, that makes things a little intriguing, right? Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now let's return to the video. Bull Armory SAS TAC 2 I will never take off Bull Armory in the conversation of the best 1911 builders. While it doesn't really have a large market following, the brand still makes some of the best 1911s the world has seen. The SAS TAC 2 is the company's take for double-stack 1911s. I also believe that it directly competes with the leading 2011 brand, which is Staccato. In particular, we have a government model of the SAS TAC-2 that features a 5-inch ramped bull barrel that is chambered in 9mm. The gun is simple but beautifully designed, and it's definitely something that can handle high-stress use. It uses the company's proprietary aluminum frame that includes an accessory rail on its dust cover. The frame features a full-size black polymer grip module, which is really comfortable and tactile thanks to its robust texturing. Meanwhile, its stainless steel slide is ergonomically built. The front and rear serrations allow for quick manipulation, and there are also weight-reducing cuts here and there to keep the gun hefty, but optimally balanced. Of course, it's an optic-ready pistol that accommodates red dots with an RMR footprint. You can co-witness these red dots with its suppressor height sights, and such a configuration enhances the target precision that this pistol offers. I am also impressed by the tight fit of its frame and slide, so every time they engage, there aren't any extra movements that might affect the stability of the pistol. By all means, the Bull Armory SAS TAC-2 Competition Grade 1911 is proven by its tacky aluminum mag well and light trigger pull. These features ensure gunners operate the TAC-2 as efficiently as possible. There's no reduction in its accuracy or speed, and that's pretty much what USPSA competitions demand. I can really label the SAS TAC-2 as a point-and-shoot gun. It's easy to use and very fun to shoot. 1911 Kimber KDS-9C Rail Model The new model of the KDS-9C might just be the newest star in the 1911 market in 2024. At its core, the KDS-9C Rail Model is still a hammer-fired single-action 1911 pistol, which features an ultra-crisp and tactile trigger and a grip angle familiar to any 1911 shooter. At the same time, it has received several factory improvements, such as the fact that it shoots 9mm instead of 45 ACP. I don't know if this aspect is an upgrade, but in terms of usage, it's undeniable that the 9mm is more versatile than the 45 ACP, and Kimber is pretty aware of this. Since it's already chambered in 9mm, the gun was configured to accept double-stack magazines. This Kimber pistol's standard flush-fit mag holds 15 rounds, and its extended mag holds 18 shots. There is a lot to unpack about this new 1911 pistol from Kimber, and it deserves a separate video. But to keep it short, the gun is fully loaded with features. For example, its barrel is crowned, ramped, and fluted, which means that it has improved accuracy, reduced weight, and enhanced compatibility with different ammo. There's also the fact that Kimber employed its bore sizing procedure on this pistol. On the range, such a design enables the gun to shoot with match-grade accuracy. The 7075 aluminum frame is a thing of beauty. It's tough but lightweight. As a rail model, the new Kimber includes a four-slot accessory rail on the gun's dust cover. This lets users attach different weapon accessories to the pistol, and I can guarantee that each slot is extremely solid and stable. The frame also has an ergonomic grip, with serrations wrapping on its grips and front strap so that the gun doesn't flip from your hands. Even its three-pound trigger is just addicting to pull and requires no rework. Springfield Armory, 1911, TRP Carry Contour. The TRP, or the Tactical Response Pistol, is not a new name in the 1911 market. Still, it has a reputation for being rugged and combat ready. I can double down on that. This 2024, Springfield has updated the catalog for the TRP, adding six new ones, 45 ACP variants. 
but what stuck to me the most is the 4.2 5-inch barreled variant, which the company named Carry Contour, or CC for short. It has a commander-length 4.2 5-inch match-grade barrel, alongside a list of stunning features that you would want from a concealed carry 1911 pistol. One of them is the contoured cut on the back of its grip. Well, that's the feature that gave its name anyway. This design is not just for style. Instead, it's functional in the sense that it allows the gun to be concealed easily and ensures that it is lightweight enough for everyday use. The aluminum frame that it uses is already light, so with the contour, this TRP is a breeze to carry. Its thumb safeties are ambidextrous and low profile so that they don't snag, and the extended beaver tail makes the gun painless and comfortable to shoot. Its sights are also optimized for guaranteed visibility. The front is dovetailed while the rear has tritium vials. They give clear sight pictures, even in low light settings, and their retention is pretty much consistent. And with the three slot rail at the rear of its dust cover, you should be able to attach different tactical accessories to this gun. This compact TRP has a skeletonized trigger, which works hand in hand with the barrel to yield match grade accuracy. It's light, smooth, and has a short lock time. It's very integral to the gun's overall precision on the range. I can't question its reliability either, as even with cheap practice rounds, this TRP shoots them all. Wilson Combat CQB. When talking about modern 1911 pistols, there's no arguing that the Wilson Combat is one of the top brands. This is just a personal theory, but the way I see it, Wilson Combat got this recognition due to its close quarters battle pistol, or aptly shortened as CQB. The CQB is a fantastic 1911 pistol, and even by saying that, I feel like I am doing the gun a disservice. For starters, the CQB is your standard government pistol with a 5-inch barrel. Its overall length is about 8.7 inches, and the entire thing weighs 40 ounces when unloaded. Its steel mags hold 8 rounds of 45 ACP. You see, Wilson Combat didn't over-tinker with the CQB to make it exceptional. What its engineers did was simply improve the design of the original 1911. In particular, the company focused on enhancing the metalwork of this gun, ensuring that it's not just tough but ultra-reliable too. Now the CQB has tight tolerances. Its slide-to-frame fit is close to perfect. They move smoothly and seamlessly, which ensures the gun's reliability when firing. The armor-tough finish on its metal parts also contributes to its toughness. I am also fond of the undercut beneath its trigger guard, since it lowers the bore axis of the pistol, which in turn allows users to attain and maintain a natural point of aim. Plus, with the tactile texturing on its sunburst grips, it's easy to see that the gun is meant to be shot as securely and comfortably as possible. Similar to other guns here, the Wilson Combat CQB isn't cheap, but is well justified with the quality of its construction, trigger, internal components, and controls. It's over 3,000 bucks, and I am sure that not all shooters are willing to pay that big for a gun. Nonetheless, the CQB is a 1911 pistol any would wish to have. Dan Wesson Specialist Any Dan Wesson 1911 is a good 1911. That's the consensus, and I am down to believe that, especially since I have already tried a number of Dan Wesson pistols, including the latest Dan Wesson DWX. None of them sucked. But if we are talking about 1911 exclusively, the best Dan Wesson that there is, in my opinion, is the Specialist. The Specialist is a pricey 1911 pistol chambered in either the 9mm, 10mm, or 45 ACP. We are talking about an over $2,000 gun here, so I'm sure it's not within everyone's reach. However, in the grand scheme, I can really name at least five 1911s that are far more expensive than this, but with qualities that aren't too far from the Specialist. The Specialist is available in stainless steel or black duty finish. Both are good, so you can go either way and not regret anything. It's a hefty gun by all means, as it's already over 40 ounces when unloaded, but its all metal construction is definitely solid, which aids in its accuracy and reliability on the range. The slide to frame fit is so tight that there aren't any wobbles at all, while its five inch match grade barrel can surely take a beating. You can also attach accessories via its Picatinny rail. As I said, the gun is pricey, so I'm sure you want to know if it offers other perks to justify its cost. Of course there are. Just take a look at its VZ G10 grips. They look awesome and ensure that you can hold the gun securely. There's also its classic 1911 trigger that features a textured face to make it extra tactile. Even if you will not use it for competitions, Dan Wesson has already integrated a magazine well on the Specialist, so you can reload the gun with zero fuss. 
and if you love Novak sights, you'll also love the front sight of this pistol. Overall, this 1911 shoots flatly and accurately. It has a nice trigger and cycles different types of ammo with zero malfunctions, even when little cleaning or oiling is involved. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.